Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys today? Uh, today I did from Julia Aristides, uh beginning drawing atelier instructional sketchbook, the block in irregular shapes. This first um, drawing here is the second block in of irregular shapes that it's basically a copy of her apples from 2017 graphite on paper. Um, and this one is this first one that I did here is supposedly a bunch of apples underneath um, some leaves put it at a little bit too much of an angle and that kind of messed up with some of my measurements and proportion so I literally have my proportion of my like height to width is like 2.5 whereas hers is like 1.3 I thought it turned out okay despite being like much taller than it should be wide. Hers was much wider. Um, I've also hiked up the contrast in this video so you can actually see the lines that I'm drawing. Other than the proportion not being exactly very great, I thought that this one went well. I like this block in her regular shapes. You can tell even from her drawing that her apple is kind of blocky on the left hand side but the one on the right is more rounded. And so it really just, when you copy this, or you do basically a master copy of her work, it forces you to use those irregular blocky lines to convey the uh, subject that you're drawing. And so that was pretty cool not too difficult. I'd actually suggest redrawing this one too for practice. What she really started off with was it's like a four-sided, almost like a rhombus, and then she would block in from there. And to be honest, if you followed her rhombus and then she drew the apples in and then she drew the rest of the details in, I have no idea how she got from the original shape to the proportional shape at the end. It seems to be like different sizes, but overall, not bad. And then here I had a bunch of gifts come in the mail from my aunt for the new baby. And they were super generous and I have used these thank you cards for this aunt before, so I thought I'd actually customize a thank you card. And so I just real quick, looked up some Pinterest watercolor elephants, said, heck yeah, I'm going to customize it with one of those, and pulled out my watercolors, and this was a super easy watercolor. So if you want a really quick, fast, easy project, totally recommend doing watercolor elephants. So easy. Not hard at all. My watercolor skills aren't even that great, and this was, this turned out pretty much almost better than even the Pinterest. Uh, version that I was using as my reference. It's just a little baby elephant with a big mama elephant just walking down the road. The only thing that I think I messed up, because uh, like I've used watercolors like four or five times in my life, was the splatter part. And even then I'm not upset. <laughs> Worked out really well. Then, for this last image that I'm drawing here, I did the blocking irregular shapes, page one of the leaf, and it certainly is weird looking. It Honestly, if you didn't know it was a leaf and you cut off a certain part of it and just repeated the shape, it would look like cooler flames than <laughs> what they used to put on like 1950s cars, or 1960s cars even. Uh, it was an irregular shape, but this one did so much better on the proportions. Um, my proportion was like 79%, like height to width, and hers on the original drawing was like 72.6%, so so much closer than I was on those apples, which really look like pears to me, because <laughs> of that shape. And here she also started out with just a general outline of the entire figure, and then she would go in with the details. It took me like five tries, which are not on video, to get 
this irregular shape and proportion right. So all you're seeing right now is the shading, which is totally fine, because even that was about blocking in irregular shapes, but on the inside. And that's it. Thank you guys.